Hi, this is Amanda Weber with Instructional Technology, and I'm going to show teachers how to set up their Pearson um, and add products so that students can have access to the Pearson um, online options. Okay, so we're going to start in our browser and we're going to go to the ECSD homepage. We're going to go to the staff links. Scroll down to class link. It's going to take you to the sign in page. We're going to click sign in and because I'm on the network and already logged into my computer, it's just automatically pulling my login information. If it pulls up the ECSD logo and, and asks for your username, you're going to log in just like you're logging in with your computer, first dot last and your password. Once you get here, you will have your um, different apps that are available. We are going to go to Pearson Easy Bridge right here. And the first time you log in, it's going to ask for your information. Okay, if you can't remember this information, you can right click on this icon and hit more information. And it'll give you a hint about how to log in for the students and how to log in for the staff. It's your email address and your nine digit employee password. So I'm going to click on Pearson Easy Bridge right here. And it's going to take me to the login page so that it can save my login for the next time I hit the Pearson Easy Bridge icon. It'll take me straight in. I won't have to put my stuff in, but the first time you do have to put that information in. So again, right here, you're going to put your Ector County ISD email. Okay, and then this is your nine digit employee uh, password. After you type that in and sign in, it should take you to this page right here. On this bottom corner right here, it'll pop up and have some messages. If you want to see any of their, if, um, any of their new information, you might have some old stuff there if you haven't logged in in a while, but you can just hit clear all and make that go away. Okay, right here, you should be having um, a list of the courses assigned to you in Gradebook. Pearson is linked to our SIS, and so every night it pulls the data from Gradebook to make sure your rosters are up to date. What you're going to need to do is to be sure for any of our Pearson products that you go in, find your class. So here's the math class. Okay, we're going to hit add products. And this is where you're going to come in and find your math textbook. So right here we'll drop down. We know we're going to be using the realized library. Okay, and we can even type in math to help narrow it down. Okay, and so we're going to scroll through and we are going to find our fourth grade English math textbook. Put a check mark, be sure you have the correct textbook and the correct grade level. And we're going to hit save. And right now it'll show you what you have linked to your student roster. Okay, so any of the any of the classes you have that um, use this product, you need to be sure you go in and add so that way the students can click the links that are being sent out in the lesson plans and have access to it. Okay. Alright, so I went ahead and added my math, science, and social studies for this elementary classroom. Okay, we're going to hit this Pearson Realize Learning System platform over here so that we can get into our online access. Okay, the first time you do this, it will take you through and let you select your grade levels, um, your background pictures and things like that. If you need to save any of that, you can come up here to the, um, to the uh, avatar and drop down and change any of your settings. But otherwise, your... Um, three programs will be listed right here. So you can click the green browse button here. You can click the browse button up here and it'll take you to the same spot. Or if you already see your science, social studies, if you want to see all three programs, there's the math. So we can come into math. It's listed out by topics. So whichever topic you're wanting to click on, you can go to that topic. You can click on whichever lesson you're wanting to use with your students. It'll bring up all the different parts of it. So you can assign based on the district lesson plans. You can add extra things to specific students. All you have to do is go on and click the assign button.
So once you hit the assign button, it'll pull up. It'll automatically populate the title of the assignment you already clicked on, but you can edit that. You're going to want to come in and choose a start date and an end date. You can even set times if you wish to set times, but you don't have to. If you want to give some optional instructions on what you're wanting the students to do, maybe they're going to be able to view this um, worksheet from the workbook, but they can complete their work on notebook paper. Whatever instructions you want to do, you can put right here. Then over here, you can search for your group. So you can type in math and it will pull up your entire math group based on whatever um, your roster was listed at when you um, added your products earlier or you can go in and just assign it to one specific student. When you start typing in that student's name, it's gonna pull up the different categories that you have them listed in. So be sure you choose the correct one. We are on math, so you wanna do a math assignment. Okay, after you have whoever you wanna give it to picked out and all of your details ready, you click assign. It'll pop up, tell you that you've, nice, you've created an assignment. If there are multiple things you want to assign, so maybe you want to do the video and the practice and this other video, maybe even the quick check, you can go through and check whichever ones you're wanting and then come up here to assign selected items. So it'll tell you how many you selected. You can click assign. It's going to pull up um, a little title right here. Again, you can edit it and change what you need to select your start date and due date. Okay, um, some of the um, activities that they have will do automatic remediation if they make below a certain grade. And so it'll have a remediation due date and it'll automatically assign that or you can uncheck it and you um, it'll just follow the due dates that you have here. Whatever you want to do there. Again, choose either your math group or the specific student you want and be sure you get in the right category and then click assign and it will assign those multiple items for that student. It does have an assign all feature up here, so it would check all those items and then pop up and let you create your assignment. Just be careful, I'm gonna, um, we'll have another video later that shows the student view. Some of this um, might not necessarily be something that they can fully complete online, um, with our remote learning going on right now. So just be aware that just because you're assigning everything doesn't mean they'll be able to really access everything on there. And then of course we have the district lesson plans going out. So you wanna be sure you're following along with those as well. So that's going through an assignment. You can also come up here to the e-text. You can see the student edition since you're in as a teacher or you can see the teacher edition. And click here, it's gonna ask you to open it into a new window. It'll pop up and this will give you access to your online TE. So just in case you missed, an, missed a book and it's on campus in your home, hey, you can come up and um, view the book here. Up in the top right corner, you can hit menu. It'll pull up your um, options so you can do table of contents and then that way you can look and search through so you know if you need whichever topic, click on it it'll go through and you can see it page by page, just like you had your actual TE. So it does open this in a new window. You can just go back up and hit your other tab and go back to your Pearson interface here. Um, we just looked at the browse. I'm going to hit Pearson Realize and come back to our main screen. We had gone and browse so that we can look at our textbooks. Okay. Um, you can come to classes right here to look at any assignments that you've sent out to students. It'll pull up and it'll separate it out based on um, your roster. You can click in there and see the math assignments that we sent out earlier. So in this viewpoint, you'll be able to see um, the different assignments that you've assigned to different students. You'll be able to see if they've completed that assignment or not. Okay, and then you would also be able to go in, view their status, um, look and see if they've started it, not started it, or what they're doing on that. Okay. You can send comments to the students, and then down here is how you can click this to start scoring their work. 
So you enter the numerical scores on the boxes at the right of the page, which would be over here once um, a student has turned in work for you to look at. Um, you can add any comments right here to that student, but for now I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, so that's the assignments tab under classes. You have a calendar that you can look at to see um, your due dates and assignments that you have posted. Discuss will let you do some prompts and things like that where you can do discussions. If you haven't had this with your students, now is probably not the time to try that out. Um, students and groups will show you your students' um, information and let you group them into different groups. If you need to change anything in your class settings, you can pull this up right here and um, change things in your in your settings. So like if you want to change the way it looks for students, it lets you change that option as well right there. Okay. okay, there is a data tab, and again, it will go with your students. So right here, once you see have assignments in and graded and things like that pulling up, you would be able to look and see your different um, data materials here. Okay, my library um, is where you can add content, but um, that you have from other places into here. And then centers, um, in the math and the science section, you can look specifically at the different centers op offered per topic and pull up just the center activities and games that they have here. And that way you can pull those up as well. Okay, lots of different options that you have within the Pearson Realize um, that you might not have explored or played with. Um, just check those things out and we'll be getting out more information to you. The main thing is to be sure you've activated your product so your students can go in and see these different um, activities as well. Thanks and have a great day.